What's up, cool kids? This is Daisy Collins coming at you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, I am going to be working on a new junk journal. As the title says, working on it from an old book. So that is what we're going to be doing today and for the next couple days till it's all done and decorated. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I do go live Monday through Friday, normally at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sometimes you get a couple late night lives like today. Hi, Patricia. What's up, girl? And so, yeah. <clears throat> Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you are into these kind of things. So, um, we're working on a new junk journal. This is junk journal number 35 for me. And I've actually already listed the journals that I'm going to be selling um, in my store. So, if at any point you guys like the junk journal that I'm working on, you guys can head over and actually purchase it. I'm going to be having um, six journals in this collection, so it is a small mini collection for me. Um, they are all going to be vintage books, and they are all going to have the original covers on the outside. They're actually in really good condition. Um, you will have to wait, of course, until they're done for you to receive them. So that should be about a month. From now, on, uh, Between now and a month, you should be receiving these journals if you buy them already. Um, like I said, I'm going to be working from journals 35 through 40. So that's what I'm going to be doing the next couple of days. I already have a bunch of embellishments ready to go. So I am ready to actually embellish. Let me get my knife. I believe I have my knife. I should have my knife. Um, I don't. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh my gosh. I thought I didn't have my knife. So <clears throat> I have this really nice vintage book. The screen actually doesn't show the color off very well. It's actually a very, like, Pepto-Bismol pink. Very nice and colorful Pepto-Bismol pink. I don't know why the lights show it off that way. I don't know. I can't get my light to be right. So we are going to open it up. And you want to make sure that you pick the book. If you can see, you can see straight through the spine right there. You can see straight through the spine. That's the kind of book you want to uh, purchase when the, the pages are definitely... Um, away from the spine. Uh, hi, Dakota. Hi, Lori. Hello to Felicia. Who else is here? Let's see who else is here. Let me know. Okay, so I'm going to carefully put down the paper here, making sure I don't hit the spine. <clears throat> this book is actually pretty old. It is from, what is this from? That's beautiful right there. Looks like this is from 1906. It could, no, no, it could be as, okay. It could be 1936. I don't know which one this is, but it could be 1936. I'm going to say 1936. Not 1906, 1936. And... Cutting down this this book is so ready to be opened. It's so old, and this girl named Katie, Kate wrote her name all over the cover. <laughs> so good for her. We all did that to our books at one point, and then I'm also going to trim down this extra paper from the page. I don't need that. But you don't want to cut the spine. <laughs> Be very careful with this with that spine. Normally it would be like whatever, but in this case we're trying to keep it intact. So we do have to be careful with that spine. Let's put up here. Okay. It's gonna get covered up by fabric. I just want it to be pretty. Or at least not be so sticking out like that. Either way, we're going to cover it up still. <laughs> okay. So here it is. A very vintage book. Could be as old as 1930-something. I think I said 1936. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to work on the inside of it. I am going to do, I normally don't do this because the books that I normally work with are pretty much brand new. But since this one is not brand new, 
I am going to be um, using one of these uh, mailing envelopes from the post office. And I'm sorry if it's a federal crime. Don't call the cops. <laughs> Please don't call the cops on me. <laughs> I pay my taxes, I swear. <laughs> and I pay a lot of in shipping, I swear. <laughs> Hi, CJ. Hi, Felicia. Hello, Jane. Who else is here? Hello, LI. Okay. So, let me... I'm just going to get this cut up into pieces, so... Okay. I think that sh this one should be enough, actually. Yeah, this one should be enough. Okay. So I'm just working with one of the flaps. This will work for many, many junk journals. Oh, come on. <laughs> See, that's why I don't like the post office. Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, so. Don't want that part either. You don't want any double flaps. I guess this is a double flap as well right here. And this is some stuff called Tyvek. Now, you can do the honest thing and purchase it <laughs> from, I think, DuPont makes it. <laughs> or you could maybe once a year get one or two of these envelopes and, you know... <laughs> Uh, salute the flag or something a couple times. <laughs> Say you're sorry. <laughs> and that you'll never do it again. Okay. So I'm just trying to make this a little bit even just for vanity purposes. Nobody will see this part. Okay, so now we have this little piece of this Tyvek, basically. And I am going to be... Oh gosh, I hope I have enough sticky... <laughs> Tacky glue. I'm going to be so mad if I don't. Okay. Okay, so. I got my glue, and I like to use uh, Turbo Tacky Glue by Eileen's. And I'm getting out my little silicone brushes here. I love, love, love my little silicone brushes. And there's kind of a, uh, some of this has like a texture and some of it is smooth. I guess I'm going to use the texture side. Let me set this aside. Let me get some like, oh yeah, here we go. Some like paper that doesn't matter if I get it messy. This is just some scrap paper here. And I'm just going to get glue all over this. And then I use my little silicone brush to kind of smooth out the glue everywhere. And since this is plastic and the basically the envelope is made out of plastic, it just slides on. What I prefer about these little silicone brushes is that I just, um, <laughs> I always forget to uh, clean my brushes after I use them and they always go bad. So these don't go bad. <laughs> and so that saves me money. And it also saves the environment. Yay. Okay, so we're going to get this Tyvek. And we're going to put it here on the spine to reinforce it. Because this is an old book. So let me get this glue off my hands, and then we're going to get our bone knife, bone folder. Tyvek is amazing for spine reinforcement, yes. Especially for this vintage book. On a normal, honestly, on a normal new book, I would not use this. I would just use my fabric and move on with my life, but this is a vintage book. So I definitely want to make sure that the spine is nice and reinforced. Definitely that. Okay, so luckily my glue, the Turbo Tacky glue, dries really fast. 
so I don't have to, um, so that way I don't have to uh, wait so long for it to dry. It just kind of dries instantly, but I'm still going to give it some time to dry while we do the next step, which is I don't like my spine to kind of be soft like this. You see how I can mold it? I don't like that myself. So I'm going to fix that in the next step by... Do I have any more cereal boxes? Let me see what I got. I'm trying to work with what I got. Oh, yeah, I have some cereal boxes up here. Awesome. This doesn't give it too much sturdiness. Uh, cereal box. Maybe one that's painted would be a little bit more sturdy. Okay. So I'm just going to use a cereal box. And I need to get my paper cutter. And I'm going to reinforce the spine so that uh, it's not squishy. And I don't like that myself. So, actually, let me see how wide this is. The spine is a, I'm just going to make it an inch and a quarter wide. And this is just a cereal box that I painted. It kind of gives it, not really, but it's actually a really thick cereal box. I was thinking that the paint would kind of reinforce it, but eh, not really. <laughs> it's not really doing that. Okay. So. Again, I just don't want it to sink in. It actually needs to be wider. Let me cut something wider. It needs to be a little bit wider than that. You don't want it to be exactly the same size as your spine. But you don't want it to be larger, definitely. That would be weird. Okay. Maybe that. Okay, that's better. Okay. This is a totally optional st a step, but for me, I need. I don't like... I don't like my spines to be squishy. So I'm going to make it basically the same size as this page. So I was gonna grab a marker. Here it is, so pen. So from here to right here, where these pages are. It doesn't have to be even, it's okay. Still a little bit too big. Let's see. Okay, that'll work. As long as it's in between these pages here. So again, let me get my little glue. <laughs> okay. And then the hole is stuck. Hang on one second. One second. Plenty of glue on here. Make sure it gets to the edges. And if you guys want to check out these little silicone brushes, I have a link for you for Amazon. My little affiliate link, which is what I use. Hey, uh, April, what's up, girl? These are my little silicone brushes that are my little favorite. Silicone brushes for this. Thank you, Safina, for that. And we're going to lay that down. I'm just going to use my little bone. What is this called? Boning folder? Bone folder? I, I don't know why. I don't know why I can never remember what is this called. Boning folder, bone folder, one of those two. <laughs> but it sounds so dirty. <laughs> okay, so here's the inside now. 
I reinforced it. And again, as you can see now, my spine doesn't uh, fold. It's no longer soft, which is, I don't, I don't like that looking about for myself anyways. Totally uh, additional step. Okay, so the next step is to uh, get the fabric that I'm going to use on the inside to be the right size. So let me get that. I think I'm going to use, um, I actually, this is right. I wanted to use my little hexagons. Where did I put them? I showed them to my mom. You guys know I had to go to my mom and be like, look what I should made, mom. Hang on, I think they're in the living room. One second. Okay, I got it. I'm actually going to use these little um, hexagons that I sewed together. I've been quilting, and I have these little hexagons here that I want to use. So let me see where I got to cut it basically before I cut it to size. Okay, I'll cut it from there to there before I get started on the next step. So give me one second. I gotta get my cutting board. I gotta get my cutting supplies. And then I'm missing one thing. <laughs> my uh, my ruler, aka my Sizzix cutter thingamajiggy. My ruler. So let's get this cut up here. I am not bothered by having to uh, cut it up. I made this to use it. <laughs> uh huh. I made this to use. Okay. Okay. And then this has to be. Got the line right here that I gotta do. Make sure it all lines up with the other one. Okay, that looks good. Like a pizza. <laughs> and we gotta even this out here. This was so much fun to make. It's a lot of work. And it's fun once it's done. <laughs> I might have to get a new blade already. Okay. And then we got to even this out right here. And then we're ready to start. Okay, let's go up down here. Okay. Okay, that's my inside fabric. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I did this on camera, or some of it. It was a little, this one's a little annoying to do because <laughs> it's so much work. But I did do some of it on camera. I also did bigger hexagons on camera. Um, okay, so this is my inside fabric for the journal. So this is going to end up going in this journal right here. I'm going to cut it down even a little bit more when I have it backed up on paper. That's going to, it's going to look so pretty. <clears throat> okay. So let's do the next step, which is heat and bond. Um, I'm just going to use the regular heat and bond ultra hold. I should say heat and bond ultra hold for this one. Cause I don't really plan on sewing on it much. So let's get that on here.
Well, I could just use this. Duh. I was going to cut it, but I could just try to use a couple shortcuts here as I can. <laughs> as I can. I'm going to lay it out. Put my heat embalmed. Make sure it's all lined up. Maybe scoot it up a little bit. Maybe use my bottle here to hold the paper. I could use another two arms over here right now. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Over here is not going to be so perfect, but whatever. Okay. And now this way, I'll cut it up a little bit longer just to make sure I got enough. Okay. There we go. We got my heat and bond. So this is heat and bond ultra hold, actually. This is the red heat, heat and bond. Hi, Gloria. Welcome, girl. Okay. So now I need to get my iron and my iron mat. My ironing board for my desk here. This is just a regular old iron. Okay. Okay, now it's plugged in and we turn it on. I'm going to turn it on to the highest setting. Hi, everybody. Hi, River City. Hi, Rosemary. Welcome, everybody. Only cool kids allowed, you guys, all right? So if you're not cool, you got to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Only the coolest of the kids are allowed here. <laughs> Uh-oh, we had a couple of you drop, drop off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have traumatized you guys again. Okay. So let's get this. Make sure we're on point here. And again, I'm just using a piece of scrap paper here just in case I get some of the um, glue. What was that all about? I don't know. Oh, I don't know why that's happening exactly. I don't think there's anything on my on my iron. Maybe there is. I don't know. My iron always makes my house smell like it's on fire. My husband's always like, what's that? I'm like, oh, that's just my iron. <laughs> okay, you're really not supposed to slide it, actually. <laughs> you're just supposed to kind of hold it. And move, hold and move. There's a lot of crevices to get into with this quilt material I'm using. Now over here it kind of moved, but you know what, life goes on. <laughs> Um, we use glue anyways in this whole process, so it'll get glued down. Just a bummer, but if that's the worst thing that happens to me this week, you know what, that's okay. <laughs> Bye, Jane. Thanks for stopping by, though. Again, I don't know why quite that happened, and it didn't happen anywhere else, so maybe there was something on my iron. 
I don't really know. <laughs> I won't lie. I don't know. Make sure it's all nice and heated. Again, I'm using the Heat and Bond Ultra Hold um, because I don't plan on sewing on this very much. I might sew around the corners. I don't really know. Maybe. Um, but you guys can uh, also get the Heat and Bond Light if you actually plan on sewing through it. So now I'm just going to let it cool down. Kind of going to wave it off camera a little bit. So it cools down. Bye, Elizabeth. Maybe I shouldn't put this face in my sewing machine. Okay. So at least this way, if glue came off, I, it would at least be on this scrap paper and not on my little iron, my iron board. Okay, so let's iron it on this side. Again, let's just do it some more just to make sure we got all the edges and everything. It seems to be pretty flat. Except on the seams, of course. Okay, I'm happy with this. Okay. So now... I'm gonna let it cool down. Again, I'm like flapping it upside down and all over the place, trying to get it to cool down. Or you could just be patient. <laughs> or you could look like a crazy person for a second, like me. Okay. So, let me get a drink of water. This is actually the inside cover. So, Let's peel this off. And then what we're going to do is we're basically making this fabric into paper in a sense, in a total sense. Here, this fits perfectly. This is packing paper from Walmart, you can go to the moving section. It's essentially really thick, ugly colored um, uh, tissue paper, it's just thick tissue paper that you would use to like, you know, put around your, um, put around your glassware or your plates, things like that, your breakables. It's very much that. And like I said, it is uh, it helps also so that the fabric that you put on top of it is not as transparent as it would have been if you um, didn't use it. Because some of these little squares, they might have shown through, but when I put it on this backing paper, they won't, which is great. And I'm using the, the glue of the heat and bond to attach the fabric to the packing paper now. And this is what I'm going to glue into my um, junk journal. When we get to that, when we get to that part. So this looks good here. I'm just trying to make sure all my edges are glued down because this does matter here. The hexagons were a lot of fun, a lot of work, but once you get the hang of it, um, a lot of fun. And I just couldn't wait to see them actually being used in a journal. <laughs> and I'm using the back of the heat and bond paper 
to use to uh, heat up the, the glue, just so that I kind of avoid um, getting glue on my mat, even though I just got some over here. I don't even know how, but it happens. To avoid also getting glue on my iron. I should probably get a new iron. This one's a hand-me-down. <laughs> okay, so that's all good. And yep, that's all good. And let's do this part right here. Okay, this looks good. Will, nobody here plays D&D, &D, man. Sorry. Okay. I don't know what three sec 300 seconds will do. <laughs> I don't know. He stumbled into the wrong chat room. Okay. So. I think that's it for the irons. That's it for the irons. Let me get that out of the way. So I don't want to burn myself. Because I endanger myself. <laughs> okay, so let me cut this out here. And now we can actually cut this to the exact size that I need it to be. Does the packing paper is easy to glue on with the heat and bond? Yes, with heat and bond, anything is easy to glue down. So I'm just trimming off the edges here just because I'm being picky, not because it does anything, <laughs> I would just be staring at them if I didn't. And if you wanted to purchase this journal, I actually have all of my next collection already up for sale. Um, of course, they're not finished. So as we go along, if you are interested in actually purchasing it, um, it's already up for sale. It's going to take about, like I said, about a month for them to come in, for them to be finished. So just keep that in mind also. To see which books I'm going to be working on and pull out. okay so here's the inside of my cover now I need to measure it out though because it needs to be looking real cute so there is a little bit of a divot I always forget about that part about that divot part so it's 11 and a half I might add a couple little pieces, like a couple little notches here. So what did I say? I said 11 and a half. I think it's actually 11 and, it's actually almost 12. I might as well just make it 12. No. It's literally just a couple, like 11 and 3 quarters is what it is, actually. Let me write that down so I don't forget. 11 and 3 quarters. I'm measuring basically the space that you see here in these beige pages. And I'm being super extra with my measuring <laughs> tool here. Uh, okay, so this is 7. Yeah, 7 and a half. Okay, now that I know that, let's get moving on the next step, which is going to be cutting this up. So let me get my cutting tools out again. Which I should actually use my actual cutter. I can't cut it this way anyway, so. So seven and a half tall. Let me 
I gotta even this out somehow because it's not even entirely. So let me even it out because it's bugging me that it's not. On the ends there, it's a little bit more even. This is also why I kind of cut it bigger than it needs to be because I end up slicing it and slicing it. <laughs> okay, so let's get my cutter again. Now I can cut it to seven and a half. Nope. This way, this way. Seven and a half. Just make sure. Yeah. Seven and a half. Yep. Okay. I got to measure five times, you know. Measure five times. Mm -hmm. If I fail this, it'd be annoying. So I... <laughs> okay. But that's just life, right? Okay, so seven and a half. Here comes the moment of truth. Woo! Okay, good. Seven and a half. Perfect. Seven and a half. Good. Good, good, good. Now I got to cut it this, the perfect size length, which is 11 and three quarters. So 11 and three quarters, huh? Okay. Making sure it's even on here before I cut. 11 and 3 quarters. I'm literally going to cut right a little bit about uh, beyond that, just a little bit, just because of those little divots that I never take into account. Okay. So this is going to be on, oh, it's, oop, nope, it's too big. But then those little divots, though, and that's still too big. You know when I get it in there? Okay, I'm afraid. Let me cut it to size. Okay, okay, you win. I'm too nervous. <laughs> Let's do that again. Three quarters. And if it's too short, then, then I'll know. <laughs> Then I'll really know. Okay, so to the three quarter. Oh, and of course my journals in my shop are actually half off, so that's why the price is 200. It's actually 100. <laughs> okay. This, this should be it. Okay, this is it. <laughs> it was even too short. Oh, my life. My life. At least it's beige, so it's not the worst. <laughs> Just can't win around here. Just can't win. Okay. So now that I have my cover, I can um, do my signature now. So now I know how tall my papers can be. They got to be about seven, uh, almost seven and a half, a little bit less than seven and a half. See, I should have kept it at that other size. It was just like in between. Oh, well, you can't win. Okay, so let's decide what pages we're going to use as a signature. Okay, so here it is. And now, tuck it into the spine, then cut. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Okay, so let's do our signature. I'm going to do two signatures in this junk journal. So let me, I need to pick up papers and stuff. Oh my goodness. Hang on. I have some stuff over here. 
There we go. Okay. I made these junk journal kits for myself a while ago. They should save my butt right now. I'm going to be using the pages from my first junk journal ever. And I used, I'm using my Life of Bloom, which are printed. <sighs> okay. They're printed just on regular paper. I also have this. Uh, I, I made this kit here. Well, I didn't really make it. You know, I just like put it together. Let me see if this is small. Ooh, it's too big. That is a shame. Okay, so let me get all this stuff out. My cat's going to start crying. Oh, he wants to play. My cat, you'll hear him. <laughs> So it has some papers here. It also has some scrapbook paper. Don't think I'll use this. I think I'll use the Life of Balloon. This popcorn pocket also fits. Is he hungry? Oh, personally. Okay, so here's another pocket that we could use. I'm going to do two signatures in this one. I'm just taking out all these papers. I, I pretty much set up this um, kit here for two signatures. Maybe I should use these pages. These are kind of pretty. No, I'll cut off too much. And, but I've kind of been picking through stuff, so I don't know if it's a full kit anymore. <laughs> it might not be a full kit. Do you guys realize that you have two hobbies? What a big two. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is the big deal about D and D? Okay, everybody loves D and D. Ah, you guys. Okay, so let's get this over here. I'm just gonna fold that in half. I don't know if this will work. It should work. It's gonna work. Great. Let me see what else I have in here. Okay, it's not a lot of stuff. So I pretty much got to go find a bunch of stuff. Okay. Okay. So I normally like to put about 15 pages per uh, signature. And I don't really have a game plan. I'm kind of just going with the flow here. I don't need this. It's a little bit too emaciated. <laughs> Even for a junk journal. So I got some more scrapbook paper here. I like to have a little mix. So there has to be some scrapbook paper, some book paper. Yeah, I know. That's tough. Okay, so these are pockets here. Scrapbook paper, book paper. Good night, CJ. So here's about enough for one signature. Let's see. Got three of the scrapbook papers, two papers that could go in there, and two pockets could go in a signature. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's already eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, one second. Does this fit? Yes, awesome. Trying to find things that fit in here that look good. That'll look good. Let's see one more thing here. Okay, that does not fit, and I don't think this will fit either. Nope, it's too big. Oh, I have a bunch of stuff here already printed out. I just got to find stuff that fits. So far, this stuff is too big. 
that'll fit and that'll fit awesome okay will you're not banned that's why you're still chatting man Here's these two. That should fit. Okay. What's what's the question? Oh, so that's that, that, that. And then you know what? We can also put in some doilies. I like to put in doilies. Doilies here. I can put in just a couple. Bye, Elizabeth. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to want them for two signatures, so I want another one. Definitely gonna need some her signature here. Okay. And some pink ones or some color. We don't have enough color. <laughs> This should be good for one signature. Let me get more papers for more signatures. At least one more. Uh, these are actually, I've got these on eBay, and I was told somebody else looked them up, and they said that they were super expensive. They're from Doodlebug Design Inc. Like I said, I bought them on eBay a long time ago. They were a good deal for me. Doodlebug Design Inc. I didn't buy it from them though. I just bought it like in a big old lot. Hello, welcome. These away before I knock them over. Oh my God, I would. I would, it's just safer to put them away. Okay. And now, kind of got to organize a little bit before I get a little flustered, but I know I need at least more pages for one more signature. I don't have enough scrap of paper. Here it is. There's one. And I got all sorts of colors and make them more colorful ones. Oh, I can also put book paper like this in there. This looks pretty. Might not even need the rose of bloom. I'm trying to pick. I'm trying here. I'm trying. I'm making it look good. Okay. Here is, oh, this yellow one is pretty. And this other polka dot, why not? Okay. And then we need some blank pages. So here's this one and this one. Oh, and this paper is pretty, this like lined paper right here. How? I'm just pulling out a bunch of stuff. Okay. Just trying to work with it. I'm trying to get like two of each on each signature. Okay. So let's get going on dividing up these pages. You gotta cut them down to size. Got to make sure that they're smaller than seven and a half. Half. Actually, let's make it a tad bit smaller than seven and a half. 
I'm not even measuring, just a tad bit smaller. Uh, that should do it. Yep. Just making sure that they're the right size here. They're from everywhere, you guys. Just ignore them. They'll keep coming back. I must be doing something right. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry if it buffered for you guys. I don't know what's going on, but just go ahead and reload. because I'm still good. I mean, that kind of happens to me all the time when I think I'm good and then I'm not. So tell me, is everybody okay? It's buffering. Oh, no. Okay, good for you. Okay, so let's go to 11 and 3 quarters. Oh, it's already at 11. Okay, so that works. That works. Okay, it's already at 10. Let's make it 7 and a half now. Okay. Is everybody here? Is everybody here? Okay, so I already got these scrapbook papers pretty much cut down to eight and a half by 11, well, except for this one, apparently. <laughs> so let's just make sure it's seven and a half tall, or just slightly under seven and a half tall. What is happening? Just move on. Just let the hate. Let just let these uh, people say whatever they want to say. They just want the attention. That's fine. Okay. So, did everybody have a good weekend? How was your weekend, everybody? Did anybody go to a fun party? Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys have a good weekend? I hope you did. I went to go see my mom today. That was fun. Oh, and I got my hair cut. I cut off maybe like seven inches of my hair. It's really nice now. Okay, so that looks like a pretty page. This is one of my black and white ephemeras, and I just kind of cut it up to, to size so that it looks good. Let me cut up these pages right here. Lori stayed at home and enjoyed the sun, and she worked on her journals. That's what I'm talking about, Lori. I'm glad you enjoyed that sun, girl. It's great. Actually, I want to use this jagged edge up here. I want that to be in the journal. It's a kind of look that looks sometimes of a jagged edge. It's all good. And that's what I said, and that's what I cut off. I love it. <laughs> I'm not paying attention, apparently. Okay, so that works right here. See how they're all fitting in the right size? That's great. Dakota played video games and she worked on the house. What are you doing to your house, Dakota? Are you making history crafts? No, I'm making, uh, well, I'm making a journal out of a vintage book. I kind of gutted it out. <laughs> Guess it has to do with history. This book, <laughs> you might not, you might be horrified. This book was from 1930s and I cut it up. So that's the history of the book. <laughs> I don't know anything about the book. I don't know if it's worth any money. I just put it up. I don't know. Try to make it pretty. <laughs> And then this is just coffee dyed paper here. And it's already to size, at least to length. So that's good. Cut all these pages off here. I'm finishing off the kitchen. And she started painting the basement. That sounds fun. Um, let me see, girl. I don't have Messenger. I hate installing Facebook Messenger so much. I don't know why. It just, it, I can't take off the notifications. It just always gives me notifications. I don't know why. Okay, so. Yes. I'm reading what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Now we're going to go to the awesome uh, folding of the pages. <laughs> I'm going to fold the pages for another four minutes, and I'm actually going to finish this live. So that'll be part one. Then you guys can come back for part two tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and I am going to be putting in the signatures into the junk journal. So if you want to come back for that, come back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you are more than welcome to join me for part two. That was today's live. And I want to thank everybody here for hanging out with me today. Everybody who had time. <laughs> it's all good, you guys. Okay. Yes. That's it. That's what we're doing today on this action pack live here for folding papers. And I want to thank everybody for joining me. Oh, yeah. And after the, the live is done, you guys want to leave me a, a link, a comment. Oh, that's right. I didn't give away my, my pin. I have another pin to give away today. Um, I'm actually going to be using these pins right here. These are my new pins that I'm going to be giving out. One of the cool kids send them to me. And they're over here. Uh, they say cool kids, craft live with tsunami rubs. So these are the pins that I'm going to be giving out. I have a whole bunch of them. So come back after the video is done being live and leave me a comment. And I'm going to give one of these away tomorrow. So come back tomorrow and find out if you're the winner. These are the comments from yesterday's video. So let me go ahead and pick a winner from yesterday. And the winner is going to be... Donna Matoy, I think she's here with us. If she's not, I know she was. Donna Matoy, you're the winner of uh, the last wooden pin that I'm going to be giving away. That's this one right here. Donna, you won the pin. So if you guys want to win this pin, come back after my video is done being live and drop me a little comment. Say whatever you want. <laughs> it's all good. And, um, yeah, I'll give one of these away to a commenter. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Come back tomorrow to see me put together my little signatures. I'm going to decide in what order they're going to go. They'll be all folded, and then we're going to sew them in and maybe even get started on decorations. I don't know. We'll see. So thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys had a good one. Donna, contact me on Facebook. I'm going to leave my link in the description box below so you can contact me and give me your address, please. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me on part one of this video. I will see you guys tomorrow for part two. And again, my link down below will be for my store if you already want to purchase this journal. If you already like what it looks like, I have the other journals that I'm going to be working on, so check those out. I'll be seeing you guys. Bye, cool kids. Peace out.